I'm for sure pumping a lot of uh, lychee based material out for you guys and I hope it's not getting too much. But uh, as you probably have noticed, I'm pretty excited about showing all these new features uh, that is uh, becoming available for the Mavic Mini. Last time I was here in this parking lot showing the Mavic Mini Active Track, I uh, kind of did this in a hurry and it, it showed on the footage because uh, the UI was actually put in Danish as well as I was showing the map when I was actually supposed to show what that drone was uh, seeing. And reading through your comments uh, actually made me realize that uh, what Ligi is actually offering is not active track, it's GPS follow me. So it basically will follow the remote. So this is one of the things that uh, we're going to test out today, as well as uh, making sure that the UI is in English so you can understand it, as well as uh, having a decent view on the camera app so you can see what's going on. Welcome to another video, I'm Henrik Olsen and if you enjoy my content then consider giving it a like. If you don't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Also while you're down there, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. <laughs> You're not particularly lucky today. One young girl is learning to drive here and now the bus is arriving so it's, uh, it's uh, becoming increasingly harder for me to pull off this video for you guys. Let's give it a go here in a second. Let's just see what, ha what is happening. In the meantime, I can answer some common questions about Litchi that you have been asking. First of all, is the app, is the beta app available for Android and iOS? Yes, it is available through a link that I will throw in the description below. The Android version, you can download that through the link that is provided. The iOS version, you have to write to Litchi support to be part of the beta program. What is the difference between the normal Litchi app and the beta version? First of all, the beta version adds support through the SDK for Mavic Mini. If you're trying to connect the normal app to the Mavic Mini, you will simply just see disconnected in the top. What is the price for the Litchi app? That's $25. That's a lot for an app actually, but thinking about it, you have just purchased a drone for three, $400, so you can possibly afford $25 on an app, especially if it adds some cool functionality to your drone. Using the Ligi app will not add raw functionality to the drone. And that is simply because TGI has not exposed it. There's no technical reason why the Mavic Mini cannot shoot raw photos, because this is basically what comes out of the sensor. Does it support waypoints? That is at least the plan if you check out the different menu items, but at the current beta state it will not allow you to execute the missions. And that goes both for waypoints and for orbit. But this is of course something that will change very soon. Is there a flat color profile available in the app? Let's go in and have a look under the camera settings here. Photo settings, video settings, white balance, style settings, sharpness, contrast and saturation. There is per default not a flatter color profile. Oh, let's go minus here. But you can turn down the saturation and contrast. So in that way, you can generate your own flat profile. Is course lock going to be supported? That means that you can set the drone in one specific direction, turn it around its own axis, and it will still continue around the, the path that you have set. If I take a quick look through the menu points, it doesn't seem like that this is a function that the is going to be supported. At least not in the version that I have here. Also, there was a question if we could unlock 4K capabilities with the, the Mavic Mini, as it's a one or two thirds sensor that we really know that is capable of doing 4K. But uh, as it is, let's just go in here under the camera settings here, video settings, video size. You can see that the maximum resolution is 2.7K at 30 frames per second, exactly like it is at the DJI Fly app. Would have been pretty nice, but I guess again that is limited by what the DJI is exposing through the SDK. I think we are alone now in the field, so we can go and check up on this uh, active track follow me mode. So let's just check out the area out here. Yeah, nobody, <laughs> nobody is around. Nobody is around. We are alone in the universe. No, we are not alone in the universe. So let's start by. And what better way to test the follow me mode than using my electric unicycle. So let's get the drone airborne. So let's put it up here in a nice height here. 
looking down at me. Yeah. Hello, 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 hello. And then we switch it into the tracking mode. Tracking mode. And then I will just pull up my pants here. That could be pretty embarrassing. I'll just take the unicycle and drive a little bit around here. Oh, so not. I need to start it, close. Okay, so what is going on here? Why does this not work? What is your experience with the beta versions of the Lychee app? Let me know in the comment below. And make sure to add if it's Android or iOS. Hmm, that's kind of a bummer. Let's just do some manual stuff here. By the way, did you see the video I made where I showed how you can shoot 360 photos with the Mavic Mini, also using the Lychee app? In case you missed that one, you can access this video through this card. So let's just land it. Nice hand catch. <laughs> ha! So that did not turn out exactly like I wanted. It actually turns out that the iOS version of, uh, of the Lychee app, the beta version of the uh, Lychee app, is not supporting tracking as it is right now. As you saw, I, had, uh, I could not enable it. It simply said close in the bottom of the screen and I couldn't enable it. So the conclusion must be that the active track or follow me mode does not work with the, the iOS app. All right, I'm sorry I couldn't demonstrate this uh, using the iOS, but at least I got around answering some of the, the questions that you have been asking about the Litchi app. You might have additional questions that you want me to investigate, then make sure to drop them below this video and I'll make sure to do a follow up one. And I might include a follow-up using the Android phone to actually demonstrate the tracking. In case that you missed the first video where I actually showed that the tracking was working using the beta version for Android, using the Litchi app. In case you missed that one, you can access that through this card. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.